Looking good. <laughs> Crispy French fried onions, like top, Ooh, little, little bit of aspirin. Oh, that on top. might be delicious. Good morning. I'm coming to y'all from my car. I should have turned it on because it's kind of cold in here. The one thing about the condo is when Bunky's on a call, I have to be like super quiet because we are like in such close proximity. And a lot of times he's on like Zoom calls. So it's easier for me to just come to the car and talk to y'all. But I'm actually about to go to the grocery store. Also, I woke up this morning and realized we didn't have coffee. So I also got to go get us some coffee because I desperately need it. I actually thought today was Monday and it's Tuesday. So coffee is on the agenda I need to run to the grocery store because I figured we could just cook some yummy delicious easy things today I have a sheet pan idea that I want to make for lunch I actually asked y'all or no I did like an Instagram Q&A a, a couple of weeks ago and I had so many of y'all ask me to share more sheet pan recipes so that's what we're going to do today and then tonight I have a really yummy casserole recipe that I want to make so we're just gonna hang out make some deliciousness also um couch updates you know how I showed you all that blue couch and we love the color of it and I went back three times to look at that couch but also we found this I say white couch but it's not white it has like flecks of white in there but it's also like a really pretty creamy color um I'll put both pictures on the screen so you can see them both well the white couch is like so much cozier and more comfortable than the blue couch so we were like so torn on what to get but we actually ended up deciding and we went and bought the white couch and we love it but now i have like so many ideas for throw pillows so i also want to stop by home goods and see like what throw pillows they have so i'm going to go there as well so that's what we're going to do and then we'll get back and do some cooking together Okay, so I am back. I went to the grocery store. I got everything that we needed to make our recipes um, in Home Goods. I found a set of till pillows that I really love with a beautiful throw blanket. And then I found a set of like this grayish blue. If you follow me on Instagram, then I showed you guys on there. But I literally was so torn and I could not decide. And I was like, okay, I cannot make this decision right now. I need to go home, think about it more. So I did not end up getting anything, but I may go back tomorrow and try and look at them again. I'm just so excited to get in our house. And I don't even know if I've told y'all this yet, but Bunky and I get to move into our house early and possibly even this week. We are ecstatic. Everything has to like fall into place for us to be able to do it this week, but there's a very big possibility that's gonna happen, so we cannot wait. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this sheet pan recipe for lunch. I'm just gonna do some asparagus and red potatoes and chicken. Um, I have been making these red potatoes here, the condo, in the morning for breakfast a couple of times. They are delicious. Like the flavor on them is just so good. So I'm gonna try and use like the same seasonings for those. We'll do our asparagus and then I have like a fun way to make our chicken really delicious. I'm kind of just making this up as we go, but I think it's gonna turn out so good. Okay, so I've got my red potatoes and my asparagus. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into tiny bite-sized pieces, get our asparagus ready. We'll put this on the sheet pan and then we'll get it seasoned and start on our chicken. Okay, now for the mixture going on top of the chicken, like I told y'all, I'm kind of just making this up. I'm like pulling from different recipes that I've made before. I think it's just gonna be so good. So I'm actually gonna be using some ranch seasoning. I'm gonna mix a little bit of mayo, a little bit of sour cream, and then I'm also gonna use the zesty Italian salad dressing mix. I think that's gonna give it so much good flavor. And then lots of Parmesan, a little bit of mozzarella. I think this chicken is going to be scrumptious. Thank you. 
Okay, so to my chicken, I just added a little bit of this anti no no seasoning just to make sure it has lots of good flavor. If you don't have the anti no no's, use whatever seasonings you want. You can just do salt and pepper, garlic powder. You can add more ranch seasoning or that Italian seasoning, kind of just whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna take my mixture and basically just like mount this on top of the chicken until it's completely covered. And then lastly, I'm just gonna take some of our mozzarella and just pop that right on top. Y'all, I cannot even tell you. Like, I think this is gonna be incredible. Okay, so now for our asparagus, since I have a little bit of this Italian seasoning left, I'm gonna just kind of drizzle these with olive oil and then sprinkle this right on top. And then we will season up these potatoes. I may even add a little bit of this to those as well. Okay, now for these potatoes, this is like my perfect trio, like my perfect seasoning. Lots of garlic powder, a little bit of Lowry's, a little bit of ranch seasoning, and then I usually do add a little bit more black pepper as well. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, I wanna tell you something. Okay, what? Well, first of all, Bunky's been on like calls all morning, so he's been like crazy busy. Yeah. And I was sitting here cooking this lunch, and I was like, this is so not fun without my Bunky. Oh. <laughs> I missed you so much. I was like, you know what? Cooking together is so much better. Mm -hmm. I have like such a better time whenever I'm like in here like doing stuff with you. I mean, I, I typically have more fun doing this with you too. <laughs> but um, it smells good. I'm I mean, excited. I, I think you've. I think you've done a good job without me. I so. showed Bunky a sneak peek of what's in there. He said it looked yeah, really good. I had no idea. I just used my nose. To... <laughs> Is that Italian seasoning that I put on like the yeah. potatoes and asparagus? It smells good. It smells good in here. So I'm hungry as well. So yeah, I'm me ready. Too. I'm ready to get a little uh, little food in the belly. Please. Come look at this chicken. Oh my goodness. Bunky. Is this not the best looking chicken you've ever seen? That's that's uh that's definitely up there. Okay, I just took a little <laughs> fork and I took like a little bit of this like cheesiness. Mm, mm hmm Oh my goodness. Can you I, are going to die. Can I have a little bit of it? Yes, the Maybe. flavor is crazy. Let me get in a little uh this asparagus. Oh, yeah, get well. some asparagus too. I think these two little. Oh, it's gonna be magic. Very hot though. Wow. That asparagus and chicken is gonna be off the charts. Off the charts. Do like, I have like grease in my. No. Okay. But like mouth jets, like on 10. Looking good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is what you call a good, bomb, delicious, easy sheet pan lunch. I said lunch, but this is really lunch or dinner. Would be awesome for just an easy weeknight dinner recipe. Bon appetit. <laughs> you may get back to work. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bunky. I'm going to take this in there with me. Y'all, that was so good. Like that chicken is mouthwateringly, deliciously flavored perfectly, just scrumptious. Y'all will have to try it and tell me what you think. I'm so excited to also make tonight's dinner. We're gonna do like a broccoli, chicken, pasta, casserole. It's gonna be so good. So we will meet back here in the kitchen tonight to get started on that recipe. But first, I do wanna say a big thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know we love our Helix mattress. It has been amazing. And honestly, during this entire move and then being in the condo, the one thing we have missed so much is our bed and our mattress. We were actually just talking about it. I think it was yesterday or the day before, and we were like, we cannot wait to get back in our own bed. And I actually just got a pillow topper for our mattress, also from Helix, and it's incredible. We slept on it like two days before the movers took it, so I cannot wait for that. 
So let me tell you guys a little bit more about Helix. So of course sleep is so important and I'm one of those people who really likes to get their full eight hours and Helix makes that really easy with their premium mattresses that are customized to fit your specific needs and the best part is that they are conveniently shipped right to your door and when I say customized I mean it. They made a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make sure you pick out the perfect mattress for you and like I told y'all last time B and I actually took the quiz together and we have the Twilight Lux which is like the perfect compromise for both of us and now that we have the mattress topper y'all I'm not kidding it's like next level comfort we both are obsessed. Bunk and I both are side sleepers but I like more of a soft to medium firmness. Bunk is more definitely just firm and that's why our Twilight Lux is perfect for us. We both feel supported and happy, and let me tell you, way more comfortable than our old mattress. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you will actually get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty, which is incredible. So if you are nervous to buy something that you have never tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you absolutely love it. And if you don't, they will pick it up for you and you will get a full refund. So if you wanna try Helix, then click the link down down below or go to helixsleep.com slash jessica o for up to two hundred dollars off your helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows okay let me give you guys the rundown got our pasta going it's probably actually almost done and then i got hair somewhere on my face i can feel it and then over here i have a bowl full of chicken now i did go ahead and marinate this chicken today you do not have to do that the recipe does not call for it but y'all know i like to give it a little extra extra so <laughs> i just put some um gosh i still have this hair somewhere i just put some like roasted garlic dressing in there a little bit of ranch seasoning just to give it some good flavor mm -hmm. and then i cut it up into like little cubes of just bite-sized pieces so a little look at it yes and then over yep. here i have our broccoli i went ahead and cut it up. The only other ingredients we're gonna need is some sharp cheddar cheese, a can of cream of mushroom soup. I got the one with roasted garlic because I thought that sounded so good. A little bit of sour cream and a little bit of milk. Okay, so I went ahead and preheated the oven. So that's going right now. Pasta is almost done. So we need to go ahead and get our chicken and our broccoli cooking. We're going to cook the chicken for a little bit by itself. Then we'll add the broccoli in, cook those together. And then we're going to add everything to our casserole dish. So I'm just going to spray it with some avocado oil. You can use olive oil, whatever you want. And then add our chicken in. And you want to have a, a nice, big, deep. Yes, because we have a lot of putting in here. If possible, and also I don't think you want to crowd the chicken too much because otherwise it steams, right? This is and true. Then you, and then you don't get that nice. Explain to them how you. Okay, whenever we make chicken in a pan, Bunky always hates for like the chicken to be crowded because he feels yeah. like it doesn't get browned. I think when you're cooking like any. Well, there's a lot of different things probably when you're cooking it that you don't want it to be overcrowded because, you know, if it is, like chicken's releasing a lot of moisture as it's cooking, right? Right. So, each, all the little pieces of chicken are like basically just steaming each other around and it's, it's just not as good. Like if you want a little color, a little texture on it, you got to have a little room. That's right. But I do want to mention if you do not go ahead and marry your chicken, now would be the time that you do that. So once you get it in the pan, season it up, you can do kind of whatever you want. I'm thinking like garlic powder, salt, pepper, Maybe even a little paprika, anti no nos. That's what I was gonna say, anti no nos. Yeah, kind of like whatever you want. Some ranch seasoning, so make it your own flavor. So we have a little nibble we can taste. Yeah, I got the Tillamook. Yeah, I know. It was a, on sale, but you know, this is like the. Good, I'm excited good. to have a little sampling. Mm, and it's like the large shreds. Yeah. So good. Oh, you have a spatula. I just washed a little one. For... Oh, yeah, I have one. Okay, so chicken is getting close to being done, so these can go ahead and add in our broccoli and then we'll just let that cook for a few more minutes together. Okay, so while that finishes sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything to our casserole dish. The recipe that I saw, she did not measure, so y'all know how I feel about it. I'm not gonna measure either. I'm gonna add in my one can of my cream of mushroom soup and then a good squeeze of sour cream. That was a good squeeze. Oh, good squeeze? Yeah. And then a little bit of milk. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. That's like a little bit of milk. Okay. And then I'm going to do like half the bag of our um, sharp cheddar cheese. I would like more of that as On the top. topping probably. Agreed. Okay. We're going to give this a good stir. It doesn't look that appetizing right now, but it's going to taste appetizing. And because y'all know how I do and I'm crazy, I only have a little bit of this Parmesan left. So I'm going to add that to our mixture as well. Okay, B's going to actually just put the pasta into our big pan. We'll give that a stir and then mix it all with our mixture. <laughs> how many times can I say mix? The concoction. The concoction of goodness. Oh, I'm excited you see for that? this. You see that? Oh, you got oh, some brown? Oh, you see that one there? Yes. All right. We didn't achieve as, as much. This looks so good. I may have cooked like way too much pasta though. No, I think that's a good ratio. I need to tell you something. In this recipe, she used like a huge can of cream of mushroom soup, but I was like, oh, well, she's making a lot. She's making a bunky, so we don't need a big can. But now that I'm looking at that, Compared to this, I'm like, man. You're thinking we're gonna be a little short. I'm like, we should have got the other. <laughs> on the on the. Uh... You know what? I think I might have an extra one. We'll try, and if I need more, we'll just add it. You could probably just put a little more milk in there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Put a little more milk in there. That's actually pretty pretty thick looking anyway. Y'all, this Tillamook cheese is delicious. We almost ate too much. <laughs> We've been snacking on it. You're going, are we going rest of the parm? Yeah, there's just a teeny bit left. I'm gonna just put this in my hand. And... Okay. You know I mean, what I think we need? What? Cracked black pepper. I was literally gonna there. say either pepper or red pepper flakes. But this will be, this will be black good. Black pepper, yeah, black pepper. Just a little. Okay, so you're gonna cover it with and then pop it in the oven at like 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then dinner is ready. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I lost so much of it. Wow. Let's just get right back into it right here. I really like it. You really do? I love it. One out of ten, what do you give it? Mm -hmm. Well, you know I'm hard to impress, right? Very hard. If only he always finds something that could be better. I mean, I would say this is like a solid, it's a solid seven, if not maybe an eight. I mean, I, you know, I told you I'm hard to impress, Punky. Seven? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I thought for sure at least an eight, eight point five. No, I, this is super good. I'm just always trying to find ways to improve upon things, you know? Like with that cheese, uh -huh. they're, they were larger pieces, you know? Yeah. So they're kind of like, just... Blanketing. Yeah, like they like kind of in like little spots, like just blanket <laughs> it down. And broccoli and cheddar, just, you know, they're friends. Right. Um. So easy weeknight dinner. Oh yeah. Not hard, simple ingredients, delicious. Like, it's a winner. Well, what I was thinking too, you know, uh -huh. is like to make this um, even quicker for people. Uh -huh. Is if you have chicken that's already cooked. Yeah, that's true. You know, like you don't have to do all this at the same time. Like you could cook the chicken. Do the rotisserie chicken. Yeah, I could do that. And but, I was thinking too, you could take some Ritz crackers, crumble them up, lay them over the top, just get mm -hmm. like a little crunch element. Bam. That's what I think is like, you, there needs to be like a little... A little Just crunch. A touch of texture. Crispy French fried onions, like top. Ooh, little, little bit of oh, that might top. be delicious. I think another important thing, too, is to not get the broccoli overcooked mm -hmm. because then you're just going to have mushy broccoli in there. Mm -hmm. Whereas, um, mm. like I could just hear the broccoli crunching. Yeah. That was, that was, that was a like nice, broccoli. yeah, it was a nice sound. Now, like I told y'all, you don't have to marinate your chicken, but I can taste that like roasted garlic. Well, that, that was in the um, mushroom soup as well. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the chicken has really good flavor, so you don't have to, but like season your chicken well if you're not going to do that. This is really, really yummy if you yeah. ask me. Okay, 
another winner. We have a sheet pan recipe, casserole recipe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up. Be sure to check out Helix down below in the description box. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.